Hello guys, this is Diya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So recently I uploaded a video where I shared with you a vlog about my trip to Rachi and what all we did on our first day in Rachi. And if you have watched that video till the end, you will know that the video ends on quite the cliffhanger pretty abruptly. And if you haven't watched that video yet, what are you doing? Go ahead, watch that right now. The link is given up in the iCard and also down in the description box. Watch that video first. Go ahead. I'll be waiting for you here. All right. Have you watched it? Great. Now let's pick up where we left off. Where are we going after coming back from the Hudra Falls? To find out, keep on watching. Change of plans along with a change of clothes, as you can see. So the original plan was to just come back from the falls and chill at home and take a nap or something. But now, we are not doing that. <laughs> Uh, we are now going to uh, Kake Dam, which is pretty close to this uh, facility where we are right now. So we can watch the sunset there. It's going to be a pretty view. So let's go. So the Kake Dam was only about 20-28 uh, minutes from IICM. So it was a pretty easy journey. The road was clear too. There was not much congestion. So we reached in pretty good time uh, to see the sunset over the water body. And as you can see, the view is already very gorgeous. You will see even more beautiful view as we go more towards the reservoir. So our plan was to go boating here. So here we are going towards the boating area over Kake Dam. So I've got to say that the scenery here was a little bit different than what we saw at the Hudru Falls but still it was gorgeous. There were the rocks and the greens on one side and on the other side there was the beautiful blue lake. And in the middle of both of these there was a very nice paved garden which you will see later in the vlog. And the best part was the weather was just amazing. I think you can tell by how much my dress is flowing. It was very windy. This was definitely a fresh change from the hot, sunny and sweaty weather that we faced during the daytime. So coming here was definitely 100% worth it for us and I would definitely recommend if you're coming to Ranchi you should come here at the Kanke Dam especially to check out the sunset and just look at that gorgeous sun setting over the reservoir it looks so beautiful and here you can get a view of the nice gallery that they have made over there with the little steps where people can just sit and relax as they watch the sunset that's just such an amazing feeling isn't it and of course when you get such a nice view of a sunset you have to take some good photos and videos who can resist that so here i am trying my best poses on to get some nice photos clicked and i literally have three people uh, shooting my photos as well as videos i literally felt like a little bit of a celebrity And after getting some good footage, we just kept on walking and walking and walking and this bridge, open bridge, turned into this enclosed uh, gateway kind of a area and everyone told me that this was to protect you from the wild animals. That scared me a little bit but still, we kept walking for what felt like miles upon miles and finally were able to reach the other side. Here we are and that is the bridge in the background that we were walking in just right now. The whole reason why we wanted to come to the Kake Dam even after being extremely exhausted after the Hudru Falls was because by the time we got back to the guest house, my mom was done with her conference and she really wanted to explore Ranchi with us as well. And so we thought that the Kake Dam would be the best option. It's nearby, it's pretty and we got to see a marvelous sunset as well. So it was a win-win situation. But at this point we were beyond tired, okay, our legs were giving up on us and even my mom had gotten really exhausted from all the walking in the Kake Dam area itself. So we gave up on the idea of boating here. Instead we just kept walking a little bit more and got a nice look and feel of the entire area around the Kake Dam and it was very very beautiful. You know they had this whole paved garden area where they had stairs made so people were sitting here chatting, having a good time with their friends and family. There was even a park in the back where there were a lot of rides and swings, slides and stuff where a lot of kids were playing. So all in all, everybody was just having a really fun time. And we did the same. We were just chilling, relaxing, rejuvenating ourselves after all that extreme physical exhaustion that we had during the day. We had a nice view, the weather was amazing, so it was a very, very nice vibe. 
Little did I know that after going back from the Kanker Dam, there would be an even prettier view and an even prettier place waiting for us. So, if you want to find out what that is, keep on watching till the end. So after a full lap of this entire place, we were now struggling to find from where we are supposed to exit this place and a lot of people told us that we are supposed to go to the exit gate and tell the guard to open the gate for us and he will do it. But we weren't able to find the exit gate. There was this arched bridge on the way but it was completely broken so that couldn't be the way to the exit and then we found that there was a little road just beside the bridge and a lot of people were taking it so we just followed them. Hi, I don't know why this is turned towards me. I'm still very new to this gimbal thing. And on the way, I got some very nice footage, so I'm going to share it with you here. Hi, little doggo. And so after a whole lot of walking, well it wasn't exactly a whole lot of walking but by this time we were just so tired that it felt like a lot. We finally found the exit gate but the guard was nowhere to be found and so we went on to find him and luckily he was nearby, he was just sitting at this kind of a portico and we requested him to open the gate for us and he was kind enough to do so. And just like that, we are done with our Kake Dam exploration. But wait, the vlog isn't over. Like I said, we have yet another very pretty place to explore. So keep on watching. I promise you, it will be worth it. Just me struggling with my gimbal. We're done. We're going back. And here we are, the beautiful place that I was talking about earlier. And if you're thinking that this isn't Ranchi, it's probably somewhere outside of India. Well, it isn't. This is very much in Ranchi and that too inside IICM, Indian Institute of Coal Management. I know it's hard to believe, but these are actually the bungalows of the high-ranking executives who work here at IICM. So it is like a colony inside of the institution and I have to say that every single house inside this colony is just so pretty to look at. They're so aesthetically pleasing. The sloping roofs, the large glass windows with the wooden details, the garden, the plants, the greenery all around. It just seems like you've transported yourself into a fairy tale town somewhere in Europe. And since we visited it at the night time, they had these golden lights up all around the place for you to see better in the dark. And I have to say that these golden lights added to the aesthetic beauty of the entire place. It just made it look even more magical and mystical. But I promise you that this place looks beautiful during the daytime also. And if you want to see what it looks like exactly during the day, I will show you footage of that in my later vlogs. So stay tuned on my channel. And with that, we are done with our day one here in Ranchi. We explored a lot of nice places and I have to say a lot of diverse places. You know, first there was the waterfalls, second there were the rocky scenery with the lake and lastly here we are in this beautiful European style colony inside of IICM. So definitely we had a fun day today. As fun as it was, it was also very very exhausting. So after all of this, we finally went back to our guest house. Everybody took showers, everybody got refreshed. And then we had dinner in the same dining area where we got our breakfast in the morning. And the day finally finally ended with me transferring all the photos and videos that I'd taken for the whole day on my phones into my laptop because that's just the life of a content creator for you. And we went to sleep at around, not we, just me. Everybody had already fallen asleep. I was the last one to go to sleep at around 11.23 p.m. And the next day started bright and early at 5 a.m. Because we were about to embark on yet another adventure. And here we are all ready to explore yet another very 
popular location here in Ranchi. To find out what location that is, you have to watch out for the next part of this vlog which will be out very very soon. Till then just like this video, comment your favorite moment in this vlog and share this with anyone you think might enjoy it as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever the next part of this vlog is up, okay? So stay tuned and bye!